Hey y'all, it's Noir. Tune into my episode on Pink World. Until you came into my heart Potential laid up in the dark Now I'm shit on a shooting star I feel responsible To tell you how I want you back Villa <laughs> Outside of Villa Outside of the Villa Villa The Villa Okay, enough enough Love Island, Island talk. Let's get into Noir talk Let's get yeah, Ooh, Noir 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 Okay. So, what's up with the name? What's, yeah, what's up, up with the with name? name? Mm-hmm. What's up with the name? The name is that actually, your real name? Is that your name? It is not my real name. Okay. But we won't talk about your real name. We won't talk about my Let's talk about, talk about that. If yeah. you know, you know. You, if yeah. You know, you know. And let's okay. keep it Period. mysterious. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep it mysterious. If yeah. you know, you know. You know. Yeah. Why is giving um, mysterious too? So yeah, I know. Is. I got it from my job, like my old job. I used okay. to work at a restaurant, and we had a whole bunch of wine. And one of them was called Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Yes. Okay. So I was like, I was like, let me just call myself Noir because that's like the darker wine. Yeah. yeah. Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir. Yeah. And I searched it up and then it was basically like meant like black and French. Mm-hmm. And like, I was like, okay. Okay. Like okay. it. Yeah, so I like it. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be Noir now. I fuck with that. Yeah. And when I came that? up with like ten names before. Oh. Okay. I was like, what if I'm like. But nothing Vanessa. really stuck as much as yeah. that. <laughs> Vanessa. Vanessa to Noir no, no, no. pipeline. Bro, when you're like in fifth grade <laughs> the and like want to make no, a new literally. name. <laughs> like, you're like, I don't really fuck with my name anymore. Mine was like, Victoria. Mine was so. Destiny. Mine was Tatiana. I like the name Tatiana or I like the name like Jocelyn. I fuck with oh, those Oh, I like mm-hmm. Jocelyn. Mine were Victoria and Natalie. Victoria? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, literally. You need to make a false identity for yourself. No. Otherwise, who the fuck are you? Yeah. Like. <laughs> but yeah, when did you uh, decide that? To, to be noir um probably in uh, like 2018 mm-hmm. when I, I feel like i started taking music like seriously mm-hmm. like when i got into the studio um so that's when i was like yeah we gotta make like a cool dope name at first i was just gonna use my name mm-hmm. actually i love my name i'm proud of my name my name's adama oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's a pretty name thank you that and everybody was cute. like why don't you just keep your name i was like i kind of want something that like i don't know i just want to make up I guess Something a new perk scene. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I totally get that. So noir. Yeah. Stuck like in 2018. And some fun. some of my friends like they do like a little joke. They'd be like, Noir, come here, Noir. Noir. <laughs> I'm like, y'all know my name. <laughs> no play. Like <laughs> Yeah. So uh what is your like background in music? Like I know you said you've been taking it seriously since 2018. So like before that, what's your background? I'm sure you probably did in like school. So a lot of people be like, oh, my God, like, you have to, like, sing in a church or something. No. Okay. I literally one day was like, well, I've always, like, been, like, a singer. Like, when I'm sad, I'm like, ah. When yeah, I'm yeah, happy, yeah. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I just be singing, like, singing through shit. And um, my family always like, oh, my God, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I'm like, honestly, I want to be a singer. Yeah. So I just feel like. I've always wanted to sing, and music has just been a big part of my life because and any single song like I listen to, like it sometimes it just it just always moves me. Yeah. And like, yeah. So I feel like music has always been like a part of me, and I feel like music is just music is life. Yeah, music is. is life for mm-hmm. real. But um, like, yeah. Did you have Did you have happen to do chorus in school at all? You know what? I should have started there. I did do chorus. Yeah. Did you do it in high school by any chance? Huh? Did you do it in high school? I did do it in high school. No, no, no. I didn't do it in high school. Oh, okay. I actually only did um, um, chorus in um, elementary and middle school. Okay. And then I did play an um, instrument, too. Oh, which one? Which yes. one? A violin. No, that would Cello. be so beautiful, though. Ch- okay, how about, okay. Um, how about, how about the, the French horn? No. Saxophone. No. Clarinet. Yes! Okay, okay. Squidward. Oh, okay. okay, Squid. Okay, Squid. 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 Okay, okay Squid. No, okay. Okay. no, no we call our other friend Sid Squid. 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 So, it's fine. Yeah, I was like on my Squidward shit. Yeah. Okay. On my Squidward shit. In high school? Like all four years? <laughs> no, just in... um. In elementary and like um, oh, okay. middle school. Oh, so like while we were playing like the recorder. Like, no, but yeah, you I was, 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 was on some advanced shit. So oh. maybe that's where the music background came from. Yeah. Really it's a yeah. I said, yeah, this 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 right here is gonna be my career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You still yeah. think you can play? 
don't know the notes, but I know how to put it together. So maybe if somebody like threw it at me, yeah, if you like picked I it up, one two, yeah, I don't know if I could read. I, I definitely can't read it, but I could probably hit like a little one two. You know. What I mean? Okay. Yeah. So okay. don't play with me. I love that word. Um. So in terms of like live performancing and shit like that, I don't know why I can't speak today. Performancing. <laughs> for for, 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 for performance. 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 <laughs> um, have you done any live performances? Like, if so, how was that? I have. I've done two this year. Oh, okay. just did one, right? Yeah, I went mm. to New Jersey. Okay. You know, I did a little trip to New York too. But my first one was in Boston. And yeah, I feel like um, I've always wanted to be like a studio artist. So like I would never want to like perform and stuff. But then like a lot of people that like I look up to and stuff, I'm like, I can do it. Like why yeah. can't I do mm-hmm. it? And like, like sometimes like I feel like you just feel the music even more when you're out there performing it live. No. So I was like, I'm going to yeah. do this. So I decided to do it. And the first time was crazy, though. The first time, like, your blood is like, <laughs> I you're, like blood is like pumping and stuff. Yeah. Like, when you get up there, it's like, it's fun. It's just mm-hmm. vibe. Yeah. So you I, like doing it. I do like doing it. I'm trying to get better at mm-hmm. it. Um, definitely, because it's different from the studio. Like I said, like you can just definitely. punch in if you mess up, but this right here, yeah, got to get that right the first time. No bullshit. So I'm still going through like perfecting performing live, but like I enjoy it. Even That's though, dope. like I'd be like, oh, no. I enjoy. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you perform, do you have like the vocals in the background, or do you just kind of like raw dog that shit? At first, I was like, I'm gonna like literally raw dog this, and then my friend was like, girl. Girl, you you can't do that. Yeah, just a little help. You can't do that. She's you like, you need a little, you need, little you need assistance. You know, you need you need like. So I had my backup vocals and just some lines throughout. So I, like when I like um, lose my breath or something yeah. or I need to catch my breath, it's there. But like yeah. for the most part, like I guess like I do sing it. That's like, fine. Without my backtrack, but mm-hmm. just like kind of like backup vocals. Yeah. Word, word, word. Um, what was your first time like going into the studio making a song? Like, did you go in like? with an idea in your head or did you just kind of freestyle i'm i'm trying to get better at freestyling Mm -hmm. i'm a writer so like i'll like be in my bedroom write down everything that i feel and then book the session and then go in so like that's how like my first like session was i had a song already and i just went in there and tried my best, and it came out bomb. I was like, yeah. okay. I said, okay. Were you, like, <laughs> com- right were you, like, comfortable, would you say, in the studio? I wasn't. Yeah. you know how the funny story is? This is going to sound crazy. No, I literally dumb. went to a restaurant, like, like an hour before. What's this Mexican restaurant? A like, a burrito, some yeah, nachos. Yeah, you was feeling queasy. So I was like, Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I went there, and I just, I don't know, I just banged it out. I feel like... I went there and I was like, my soul just poured into the yeah. microphone. But yeah, like first time, definitely crazy but good. Yeah. Did was you put it out? No. no. <laughs> that seems no. to be <laughs> common. Is it yeah. really? Like yeah. Yeah, people come in and be like, they people don't be putting out like their first no. things because it's just experimental. Like it is. It's, just a, demo. it's a part of this it's journey, you know. So I just I, I listen to it a lot just to see like where I like came from like yeah. where i started yeah. and it's just like wow it's amazing to watch but i don't think i'm gonna release that yeah it's, i was, I was it's gonna say files. like i feel like if i were to do something like that i'd probably do the same thing and kind of have it for myself like just knowing like this is my first song and mm-hmm. it's for me mm-hmm. no bullshit mm-hmm. and i have that was too many like that where yeah. i just hide them yeah i'm a hoarder I'm and like, that yeah. was in 2018 <laughs> was that in 2018 yeah that was like 2018 all right so I'm not that good at, like, numbers and, like, dates. I'm, like, a walking Wikipedia. Like, I got the information, but we, I'm not too sure if it's accurate. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to go with 2018. Mm-hmm. 2018 yeah. seems right. Mm-hmm. It's, like, kind of when the pandemic-ish. Yeah. 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 Mm, no. 20, no. Oh. See? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was actually 2020. Everything's a blur. You know, everything's a blur. No. I don't know. Like, 20, maybe, 2020 was 2020. definitely pandemic <laughs> No, dead ass. All no. I know is right now. All I know is right now. <laughs> just the present, baby. Just the present. I don't even know the date to enjoy right now. Today. Yeah. Enjoy I'm right living in today. the now. Yeah. For real. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, going to school in Brockton and, like, a little bit about your early life, you know. Yeah. Let's talk about it. And, like, mm-hmm. probably, like, what influenced you to get into music, et cetera. Like, if you have any 
thing in the family or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So okay. early life in Brockton, like going to the Brockton public schools, was is nothing never boring. Let's just say yeah. that. Yeah. Never boring. Mm -hmm. But just honestly an amazing experience, I feel like. Growing up somewhere so diverse and yeah. like even though like we probably didn't have the best funding out of like all like the other neighborhoods and stuff, I feel like they really put an effort into getting us the best education that they can. <laughs> like yeah. I sound like I hurt. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I think it's an amazing school system. It's amazing. I met all of my best friends there. Um, I just, I'm not, I'm not even going to be a hater today. You know something? No. I'm yeah. amazing. Yeah. I love, I love going to Broughton High. I love going to my middle school, my elementary school. That's dope. And yeah, um, my music what did you say again? I'm so Just sorry. Just like who, what influenced you to get into music, if you have any, like family background or anything, or just like friends that do it. Because I know the music scene is like popping in Brockton right now too. So yeah. Or you kind of just did it on your own. You was like, fuck it. Yeah, I feel like I saw a lot of people in like Brockton um, making music. And I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to do that. I didn't really see like, I guess, a lot of singers or like even like maybe R&B singers. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, damn, like... Where y'all at? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like there's so many. There's yeah, so there many. Is. You just got to open your eyes. There's so many, so many amazing, talented singers, rappers, everything in Brockton. So I guess you could say I was inspired by a lot of people putting themselves out there. And I was just like, why can't I? Yeah, just yes. the culture. I feel like that is because I feel like people are talking about this recently. I've been wondering, like, why Brockton? Like, why is there so many creators coming out of Brockton? But I feel like it makes kind of sense if it everybody's does. kind of gathering inspiration seeing like these people doing that oh they can do it like i can do it like yeah. i have the same interests and then like mm -hmm. combined efforts is very interesting to no see. like that city is a gold mine True. for real mm -hmm. everybody there is talented mm -hmm. like so much and it's just like in the past few years it's been coming up like yeah. everybody's from brockton that's like popping off that and like putting on for their city so it's yeah. fire it's manifesting fire. i'm next <laughs> yeah. no bullshit yeah. <laughs> Um, let's talk about, okay, so we all met at Ladies Night at Phoenix yes. Down. That only is related to that, because tomorrow we have another one in Brockton, yes. so. Shout out to Voices of the Baddies. Yeah, yeah shout, shout out, out to Voices of the Baddies. Oh my god, yeah. I really want to know, just for, this is so off topic, but who runs that page? Are we allowed to, like, disclose that, or is that just, like, supposed it's to secret? say a secret? Is let's, like, to... let's make it a secret. Like, okay, 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 okay. Well, I have to say multiple people running, you know? Okay, not just okay. One, oh, 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 oh. You okay. Know? okay, sorry, continue with no, your question. It's cool. <laughs> but, um, let's talk about that. Like, how did you feel at that first uh, ladies' night that we had at Phoenix Down, and how important do you think it is that us women collaborate and have this kind of community? That was literally the most amazing experience I've ever had. Because remember how I said, where's everybody that's singing? Where is yeah. And the fact that I got to really zone in, not just, I guess, Brockton, but um, Mass as a whole. Yeah. And just meet so many, like, creatives that are out here doing the damn thing. For it real. was amazing. And I think it's, like, we need, like, platforms like this and events like this to really bring women together because yeah. sometimes i feel like they try to be dividing us like try to pin us against they each other do. like everybody like there could be like ten thousand rappers and nobody has beef but if there's like a singer yeah they just kind of pin us against each other or like maybe a female rapper they pin each other like pin us against each yeah. other but all when i went there when we went there it's yeah just vibes. Literally. It, yeah literally just vibes just like immaculate vibes just yeah. like just genuine vibes and i'm just so gassed i know fun. i love when people are committed to that too like mm -hmm. not just going there to be there you yeah. know like they're going, going there, there actually creating participating. yeah and creating that vibe like yeah. yes we're doing this together yeah and yeah it was nice to see you like put up put your verse together too. I, know. I, was, I, was literally, I was sitting right next to you you had your hood on with the privacy screen mm -hmm. he was like <laughs> I, might, I might have to hop on. You're like, I don't know. Yeah. I a little I was bit. Like, I was like, girl, you need to hop on. Yeah. I see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't play. Okay, tomorrow. Because okay, 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 okay. we got hours. I know we do. Hours. We got hours. By the 1 a.m. We'll see. That's crazy. We'll see. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm I know. <laughs> um, who are some of your musical inspirations? Oh, my God. When I get asked this question, I just cry because, like, I feel like <laughs> I want to say everybody in the entire world. <laughs> But I guess I feel that <laughs> I <Duh>. really do. <laughs> Some new and old ones. I'll start with the new ones. Okay, Kaylani, she's my mm -hmm. most like played on mm -hmm. my like Apple 
playlist. Um, Kaylani, Tiana Taylor, mm-hmm. Ari Lennox. Tiana's like so I just she real R and B. No, for real, Jasmine Sullivan. Mm-hmm. Like the just perfect. Yeah. Yes. I guess some older ones would be Erica Badu. Yeah. Of course. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> I love that. Um, Jennifer Hudson. Everybody gets surprised when I say this, but I used to be at the computer, um, of course, watching, like you know, like when you like study the lyrics. Oh yes. yeah. Like, <laughs> living <laughs> under <laughs> your spot. You know that song? I don't think so. Oh. I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, just providing you some some oomph. <laughs> some, you yeah, know? yeah, my backup vocal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, on the track. That's me on the track. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Hudson, Keisha okay. Cole, Mary yes. J. Blige. Oh my just God, the yes. soul. I yeah. love soul music. Yeah. So off of that, we can tell kind of what genre you might consider yourself as. But what do you consider yourself as for the viewers? You know, let them know. I feel like I love everything. I love yeah. hip hop, R and B, neo soul. Even though it's like R- still in kind of R and B, Afro beats. I make all three of them. So mm-hmm. like even pop. I feel like my music is kind of like pop. Yeah. My friends be like, "You're bugging." I'm be like, "No, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no pop." No, like, listen, I, listen, listen. Because people have a weird perception of pop. Yes. They think it's like. I think it's like Megan Trainer or like yeah, like Ari- Ariana Grande. Grande. Like, like it's not like. But it, like pop is. You, Pop is in so many things. Like, a ton of yeah. the rap we listen to or R&B has so many pop elements. So, that's good. And that's good. Yeah. yeah so, I say all four of those genres. You know, it's just a big one. Mm-hmm. But one no, that I guess I like to. the most, definitely R&B. Because yeah. I just love feeling music. And I feel like R&B is about feeling. Yeah. Definitely. Feelings. Getting in your feels. Yeah. yeah. Who would you want to collab with? Dream collabs. <gasps> oh, my God. Kaylani. Yeah. Of course. Ari Lennox. Yep. And it's just so hard. I can't yeah. narrow it down. Just, would you do a hook on a rap track? Who? Who? Ooh, who that's a good. Who question. would you oh like to? Oh my god. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Well, I always wanted to make a song with P and B Rock. Aww. Yeah, I I loved his music. Yeah, his music really was good. He carried like, mid high school, bro. Yeah, carried. 2016, tw- mm. 2017, yeah, yeah, particularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Literally, and then a boogie. I love a boogie. Yeah, mm-hmm. that whole like New York scene. I like. I like drill. Like I like drill. Music. Yeah, surprise. Okay. I like that. I love surprise. <laughs> I like drill music. Yeah. So anybody that's doing drill right now, hit me up. Word. Yeah, love but that. those are two of my dream collabs. What about Ice Spice? Oof. Oof. Why did I? Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's yeah. wait. 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 Mm. Wait, because I there's spice, a lot to unpack here. There's a, a lot. lot. It's yeah. a lot. Like, I feel I spice in my soul. Yep. I am a spice cabinet. Yeah. A munchkin person. I am, oh, it's yeah. a munchkin? No, it's both. It's both. It's, no, both. Both? it's munchkins in the spice cabinet. I'm a munchkin slash spice cabinet. Mm-hmm. I just love her vibe. Like, it's just really, like, it just really gives. So yeah, I would. Def- yeah. That's another dream collab, mm-hmm. definitely. And somebody I missed in singers, are, um, Mariah the Scientist. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I love her music. So what about having being on a Young Thug song? Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Uh, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Come She down. I'm there. She down. I'm down. I went to her concert. I went to her concert. I had so much fun. Uh, she's so dope. Yeah. Wait, she when? Is. Um, it was it was like later last year. It was really dope. Like, right. she's an amazing artist. I know she be getting shit. People be hating I for know, like no for reason. No like reason. y'all go up in, on stage and do that shit. That ass. Like, you, you have get, your man's in jail. Right. Mm-hmm. Too much going on. You get up there. Too like, much. She got a lot going on right now. Like that for ass. real. But she be making some bomb ass music. Yeah, she's yeah. good. Yeah. You like going to concerts? <sighs> no. You know what's no? Really? I don't. I. You know why? Because like they're just like everybody's just becoming late. Like. Everybody's becoming late. That's, That's true. Sitting there in my tight ass converses, waiting no. for you, and you're two hours late. But and I already like. Mm-hmm. Literally, I only do it for like my faves. Like that's why I went to the Mariah Scientist. Like I've been to a Lucky Day concert, Mahalia, um, Ari Lennox. That was like my first concert in Ari Lennox concert. I'll go for my faves. Yeah. But if it's like somebody that's like, oh, you want to go to this concert this weekend? Nope. Nope. Interesting. Nope. It's always so interesting to me when people say that. 
Like no, when people, other people say no, I feel like KZ like, yeah. is my other notable Facts. other person that says that he doesn't love going. Mm-hmm. Oh, three doesn't either, bro. He like mm-hmm. mother. Also, motherfuckers who only like listen to their music is crazy. Like I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me, Imagine. Stop, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Um, so I'm like the opposite. Like anytime somebody plays it in the car, I'm like, stop. I know. That's stop. how I would be. I'd be like, I'm do like, not. Stop. I can't fucking. When everybody listen. sings along, and it's like, uh, I feel like I'm an L. I know. <laughs> like, is this hell? I was like, hell. <laughs> For real. Like this is really me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, well, that's crazy. We love concerts. Yeah, concerts mm-hmm. hit. Really? Yeah. Maybe if you got like a little drink in you. Yeah, mm, I don't drink before concerts. Me yeah. either. I wouldn't. Cause I, I will like I don't really die. Drink. Yeah, I'll die in the pits. Yeah. I'll be the death. We like to like go and like get fucking like sweaty and shit. So <laughs> that's like just the whole. Wait, would you guys story. go to a rave though? Oh, um, we haven't been to like a, a rave. rave. But really? like, am I saying it right? It'd be like yeah. raves and like, what is it like? Like festivals, like festivals. Music festival. yeah, we, we go to festivals. Yeah, we go to you festivals. Do? Yeah. yeah. Like, would you fly out to a festival? Oh, or they we have do. To be here? Oh, you do. My do. first one she brought me to, well, like she put me on to, was Rolling Loud Miami. Mm-hmm. I've been to like three, <laughs> three Rolling Louds. Three. Oh my god, three this gives Louds. me anxiety. Oh my god. And then t- so I've been to five festivals total. Oh I'm my! God. How was it though? Like, do you get dehydrated? I know, yes. bro. Hell yeah! What you had to do? Too. Like, and you like, can't even bring in water. You had to buy it there. Bro, that's the worst part yeah. of the whole thing. Cause one, the water is fucking nasty. Yeah. It's oh. disgusting. Don't like, tell me see? it's Aquafina or nah, Dasani. Cause they'll well talk about Aquafina and Dasani. Well Dasani is low tier. The fucking <laughs> water they give you Nichols at Rolling Loud long. is the lowest <laughs> of yeah, tiers. Yeah. Lower than Dasani. Lower. I swear to God. Because are you talking about the fountain water? I'm talking about the. The, or the bottles, you know. Oh, I don't even know what like, brand that is. It reminded me of fucking yeah. the other quarters. Thing in the water. Dasani be tasting like, like quarters. Yeah, and that's iron. what that tastes like too. And they're like nine dollars for a bottle. Yeah, that's why you <laughs> buy a hydro pack and like you put it on your fill back it. and then you fill it. But like even that what? fountain water is like crazy oh, nasty. No. Yeah, but it's definitely it's definitely a vibe. But it takes a <laughs> lot. It's of vibe. vibe. <laughs> side, side, side eye. Side eye. After three just, days, you're sick. Yeah, like you are officially sick. Festival uh-huh. film. Cause y'all are so. Mm. See, I don't know if I could do that. Going crazy, but there's mm. some festivals that it are looks fun though. Chill, like. Camp Vlog now, which is Tyler the Creator's festival, which will be coming back this year. So I went twice, and that is like a chill. Like it's so chill. Mm-hmm. Like everybody there's just chill. Like you don't have to. Like you could go in the crowd, but like everybody's just a vibe, and like they're not like fucking crazy. Like at Rolling Loud, <laughs> dead ass. It's too much at the at those festivals. But like it's I like don't know how y'all do it. Y'all are super women. I know we we get all our like rage out. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that should be crazy. That's but what Travis Scott be talking about, bro. No bullshit. But um, how do you feel about traveling? I know I saw on your Instagram that you went to Paris, mm. right? Her. So like, you be, you're you're a global international gal, like, yes, like international let's talk about gal. It. Like, let's talk um, about it. I right? am. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I love traveling. I'm trying to travel more. I love Paris. Uh, I want to move there. You only really? went. You went once. I only went once. Yeah. That's fire, though. How long did you stay out there? Two weeks, but okay. like it was split in half. Half was Paris, half was Italy. That's yeah. still yeah, so it, fire. W- it was fire though. Like, uh, I- I'm sorry, I-, I always keep on talking about Paris. I'm gonna be like, what about Italy? Italy was cool, but Paris was nice. that's the well, one. Like, that's yeah. the one. I love it there. Like, was it a culture vibe? shock? No, not really. That's interesting. Cool. No, not really. It's really um, it's really diverse there. Were the people nice? Because I know people be talking about like people in France being rude. I don't know why that's like a common theme I hear. But I've always wondered because I've never talked to somebody in real life who said that. I don't even. I don't really think so. Because like we're kind of like from Boston. I feel like exactly. people they just be minding their business. Like people they're not like really that. like. I feel like if you're from like an inviting like country or state. Like maybe like the south where they're like I don't yeah. know yeah. like like that hey, makes sense because yeah. thank you how you doing today man hey like, you know baby I mean? yeah how yeah. are you but today? like here we just be like here in New York you just like cold go your way yeah so I feel like it's kind of like that but that like makes sense. everybody there is cool like you know let's go mm-hmm. how's the food bomb like my Airbnb was next to a bakery so every oh. single morning we would get like chocolate croissant shut the fuck up and it was that it was just real like. Everything there was real. Yeah. The food, yeah. no no processed food. Yeah. Fuck the FDA. Like, yeah, dead ass. No. Bro, what I heard the other day was that, like, people be going on vacations and, like, losing Bro. weight, but eating way yes. more in other countries. But they lose weight because oh, the shit's not real. processed. Yeah. They be eating, like, people who can't eat 
gluten and lactose here. They'll eat, eat mad it. cheese and oh, bread, and they're like, I feel that's, great. I'm a full blown lactose Me intolerant too. shorty. You know what I mean? Me too. I'd be like, Ugh. Yeah. but when I was out there, I said, okay. That's crazy. Oh, she yeah, is. So we it? heard it here I was first. Good. Okay, that's I was wild. good, especially in Italy. Like you can't, you can't pass on the cheese. In yeah, Italy. I wouldn't. I you wouldn't. Can't. No matter what. Like everything in it got like cheese. So I was yeah. just like, I was like, oh no. But then I was like, oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah, but that's crazy. definitely top two in my list of where I travel. I think my number one is Jamaica, though. That was fun when I went to Jamaica. I've, I've heard a lot of good things yes. in Jamaica, yeah. I love Jamaica. I yeah. rode the horses in the water. Bro, that was the scariest know, shit ever, though. Like, yeah. Because, like, they're, like, galloping in the water. You ain't really got shit to, like, hold you up. So I'm yeah. like... Yeah. Do they have, like, a, having fun? Yeah. <laughs> do they have a saddle on that bitch? Yeah, they do, oh, but, okay. like... Damn, like... Yeah, no. They didn't give you none. No, nah, they didn't. Yeah. And, then they, and then they didn't even tell us who was going on cliffs, like with the with. Oh, the, see, nah, I would have like little edges that like they could be like. Like <laughs> I was like, I was scared. I, I did sign scared. a waiver, but you know, you just you just be signing. You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, you're like, like if you die, waiver, it's not my fault. <laughs> Next like, waiver oh, okay. I sign, I need a reason. Yeah, no, so. I'm like the worst. Terms and conditions, yeah, just check. Yeah, okay. just Next. agree and continue, bitch. No, for real. <laughs> no, I ain't agree and all that. Dead ass. That's crazy though. What other places have you been? Are those only two out of the country? Um. Yeah, those are the only three out of the country. But oh yeah, my bad. I forgot. In the country, um, Texas. I love, I Texas. love Texas. My best friend, she moved there. So where in Texas? And, um, Dallas. Okay. Yeah. So me and my friend. I want to go back though and go to Houston. We didn't go to Houston. No, I want to go to Houston. But too. the food. The food is so fucking good. You said it was mainly like like um. Like Spanish inspired in food? San Antonio, mm-hmm. it was mainly like Mexican, okay, like particularly okay. Mexican, and then they had a lot of barbecue. But I had the best Mexican food in my life there. Like it was yeah. so good because you're really close to yeah. the border yeah. there. It was just it makes sense that everything's so Mexican amazing inspired. over there. And do y'all ever notice like when you leave, like even if like you leave like state to state, like the malls have the best things ever. Like there's nothing in our malls. Bro. So like anytime oh I go God, somewhere I else, no, our be malls just be getting shootings and shit. Like, That's literally, literally. Yeah. like uh, so crazy. Yeah. But like everywhere else, like they just have. I just went yeah. to New York and like I even went to the New Jersey mall and then when I went to the New Jersey mall, I was like yo, yeah, every mall is better. That's a, a fact. Mm-hmm. Did you go to what is it called? Um, like it's like Cherry Hill or something mall in New Jersey. Is that the one that I don't you went to? know, Do you no, but like everybody's talking about the Mall of like America, like that, like a water slide. I the mall of America was in like no, not Mall of America. Something about America. I don't know. About about I know, the, I know the about mall America. of America, but that's in like somewhere weird, like yeah, it's like Mississippi or yeah. like Kentucky or something. The hell? Yeah, well, I don't know. If but, y'all, y'all are from there. That, sorry, that's weird. Yeah, I don't sorry. know shit about that. Yeah, you gotta ask. No, well, she gotta ask my friends because when I be going on vacation, be vibes. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. be walking around. You know, yeah. ask. I don't be reading shit. I should be going places. Bro, I be like, oh my god, this is so good. You gotta ask. And there's something so refreshing about going somewhere, like visiting somewhere, and knowing that no, you're gonna see nobody that knows you, so you can yes. act literally however yeah, the crazy. fuck you want. It's like I could pull up and talk to you in a fucking British accent. I could do that here realistically if I don't know the person. The counter, but like it's different. It's so fun too. Like driving there, you're just like going crazy windows <laughs> down. Like, I'm like, oh, bro, don't even know nobody's me. gonna see me. Like <laughs> yeah, nobody knows me. But, and if you know, know I'm crazy. about it. No, I'm just crazy. I'm just like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 good for you. I'm just like that. Just <laughs> not dead ass. It's because like, should I do a cartwheel right now? <laughs> And everybody be like, no, no. See, yeah. See, like, you should, though. Yeah. See, because we, we'd enable you. We would Sorry. definitely enable <laughs> you. We, we would enable you. Like, when we really, like, when I get down to it, I'm just a little in the head, but. Same. But it makes that. for good music. It makes for Period. good vibes. TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It makes for good vibes. We knew this people. one would be a good one know, because the way you, the way you. <laughs> some taps. No. no. Like, the way you like, in the best way introduced yourself like I don't even know if you <laughs> wait, even wait, introduced wait. yourself. I said, I was like, can I sit here? Are you, like, you yeah. guys sisters? Yeah. Oh, are you? Oh, I know that. your sister. With your little teddy bear, fucking yeah, like, are you guys sisters? And you're like cousins. We're like no, no. and you're like no way. <gasps> <laughs> that was crazy. No, because my facial expressions, they're just they're just on a hundred. I'd be like, I feel you, I feel you. Everybody be like, girl, how do your face move like that? Like, oh. Your eyebrows move too, cause my move, like with everything I do, like I'm just like 
like you're the type of person nobody could you don't even have to say nothing like you could tell it on your face yeah i'm the worst oh my god like i try not to be shady sometimes like somebody would be like hard i'm just and i'm like I don't know, girl. Side eye. It's hard. Side. <laughs> it's hard out here. Side. Wait, wait. Can we get a, like, a side eye on three? One, two, three. Side, side eye. eye. <laughs> That's my Make favorite that shit right now. sound, boy. Side Dead eye. eye. Y'all need to let them things where you press the button where you're just like, bam. What one was that? Oh, that one was the chirp. Oh, that one was like the charm. <laughs> I wish all Is there the one that's like, do? You know, like the do? Nah, yeah, she we're like when somebody's rashing somebody would be like I have that on my fucking DJ <laughs> controller <laughs> 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 and you got two baby mamas <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even know that that <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the, the soundboard thing on TikTok yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god I love those TikToks let's, let's pull that up right now I want oh I'm your dream girl oh I'm your dream girl manipulative <laughs> doom <laughs> doom <laughs> I need a button I need to just walk around with a button no bullshit no bullshit <laughs> You know those but like red mean. buttons, like yeah, the easy ones, yeah. like when people used to bring them like to school, and the teacher be like, "Put that in your backpack." That sure way. I was never, I was never an easy girl, like I nah. like, bring that in, you know. Easy girl. Oh yeah. Let's see. Turn that bitch up. <laughs> I love TikTok. <laughs> <Wait>. Manipulative. <laughs> Liar. Crazy. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Cut. Ho. <laughs> No, it's the double ones. No, the double ones be getting me. <laughs> What's another one? Not the toilet. Not the toilet. Not the toilet. What? Okay, well, we'll just stick with what we know. <laughs> it's not even done. It's a... <laughs> no, I'm going to hand the goofy ass soundboard over to you. Goofy ass, yeah, boy. Wait, which one is the one that's dramatic? The one that left. Um, the, the, the emoji where... It's on the, I mean, on the right. So it's right. my emo- on the blue. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how do I work this? I'm so bad at technology. Let's get into that. How- <laughs> I just want the douche. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, I got it. <laughs> I just want the douche. <laughs> I got on my oh. goofy ass soundboard. <laughs> that, was, that was good. I <laughs> fuck with that. I just I need, I need, I need, I need, I just need that. somebody What's to that? put that in like a button, but I know you can't put it in a button. So like, we should just go to Build a Bear and make a whole <gasps> bunch of bears. That's like <clears throat> and just carry it around. Just to carry everyone. it around. Like, yeah, to, to every function. Support. <laughs> Boom. Guys yeah. trying to hit on you. What's your number? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> just get the fuck away from me. Fuck. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. You really said, I'm just trying to find a douche. <laughs> <laughs> the fart was crazy. The fart was literally crazy. That was definitely not the boom we were trying to spot. Nah. We got somebody the old there. Like, it was just a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, so you said you're bad <laughs> with technology, huh? Oh, my God. Like, because I have to upload my own music, and, mm. like, I need to, like, do the lyrics and stuff. So mm. I should be feeling like I'm 80 years old. I'm like, yeah. mm and stuff and like when it comes to tiktok it took me a while to learn how to edit and me stuff i'm getting tough. i'm still learning i'm getting better but it's definitely improving and just social media as a whole like to be an artist you have to be really like good at your social media and i'm just not good at the internet but i'm not saying i'm not good at the internet let me not say let me retract those words yeah you're I, j- not. I just i mean I like just, not, not i'm not good. at my full potential yet yeah, yeah. you're just growing but you still do your thing marketing wise. Yeah. Like. Really? Yeah. You definitely do. Thank yeah. you. I'm like, oh, uh, like you got it all in your link tree. You got your Instagram yeah, facts, like facts, unlocked. Facts, facts, facts. I say yeah, you curb. Mm-hmm. Ain't doing that. Ain't doing that. Be. Ain't doing that. Be. Um, I want to ask, what's your favorite top top five like songs that you have out that right I now? have out? Yeah. Wow, this is gonna be easier now because I literally only had like five songs out, but now yeah. I have like an album, so I have like. Mm-hmm. 14 songs, little, yeah. so okay. So, like, start from, like, like the best to, like, yeah. not the worst. <laughs> like, top one. Top one. My favorite song is definitely Four Leaf Clover. Okay. 
Um, that one like just came out, right? Well, yeah. not just came out, but like it's like when I'm last screaming, couple I'm like, months. You're so damn lucky. Yeah. Like you lucky you get to mm-hmm. chill with me. You lucky. Yeah. You just lucky. So but four leaf clover. Nine nine nine, like all my friends love that song. Nine nine nine, it's the Afro. Has that one been out for a minute? Yeah, yeah. I released that way before um, Four Leaf Clover. So nine nine nine, I honestly love like that whole project. So spilt milk, like I feel like I'm just talking my shit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. popping my shit. Let spilt me just milk. talk shit. <laughs> and then, um, damn, there's a song called Counterpart, and it's like in parentheses, like. Fiji, so it's like Fiji basically, mm-hmm. and it's just me just like taking you through a journey of how like I want to go to Fiji with the love um, of my life. Manifest, okay. Yeah. Put me a fast track. Yeah, and then the last song is love because that song is about God mm-hmm. and how like at peace I was at a certain point of my life and how it just transcends to everything. Everything is everything. Everything is everything. <laughs> yeah. So you're heavy, like, religious or, like, spiritual? Yeah. I definitely believe in God, you know. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, like, where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Um, But um, I'm definitely, like, spiritual. I feel that. Is this something you, like, grew up with? Um, Like... Like a religion, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, is it like in your family and stuff? Yeah. Or did you like go to church when you were younger or anything like that? No, I actually went to the mosque. Oh. Yeah, my family is Muslim, so oh, that's interesting. Oh, I'm okay. a mosque girl. Okay, okay mosque girl. Yes, my hijab. Yes, I love that. No, that's cool. So, did you like yeah. transition out of that, or like do you kind of I'm, still share like some of the same values? Like, definitely, still share some of the same values, like. I think it's a beautiful, amazing religion. I feel like all religions and everything should be like you should have your choice. I agree. To what 100%. you like? When it, and I don't feel like everybody should keep on judging. At the end of the day, and saying one, we all like believe in God. One. You know, exactly. we all believe in like one God. So yeah, like it's just. I feel like my cousin, she was Christian, so I like got to see the two religions. So mm-hmm. I just feel like, like I said before, like. God is God, and yeah. God is great. <laughs> yeah, so, I love yeah. that perspective. Yeah, me too. Because you're right. A lot of people in today's society wants to, like, pin against each other. Just like, yeah. no, you're God. You're, like, what, is what you or believe is in like, is not what I believe in, so it's, it's not. not. Yeah, like, I feel like people be I on, like, opposite ends of the spectrum where people mm-hmm. need, to, need to be in there. Like, people will be either be, like, completely, like, godless, like, nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, That's which a is atheist. weird. Yeah, yeah, atheist. yeah. Or they're, like, my religion's the mm-hmm. one. Yeah. It's right. Yours is wrong. Yeah. Which is crazy. I'm, like, right here, bro. Yeah, I'm right here. Me right. too. Yeah, I'm, I'm right, right here. I'm right here. We're in the middle. Yeah. Um, got any music videos out? Yes, I have one. That's another thing that I should, um, should, yeah, I definitely should be getting on top of. Um, I have one. It's for love, like mm-hmm. the favorite song that I said before. Um, but I definitely want to make more this year. Um, I kind of want to be behind the process, though. Like, I kind of want to start, like, not film, but like recording on like a camera mm-hmm. and like learning how to edit and like all of that stuff. Yeah. Cause like sometimes like when you leave it up to I guess somebody else, like it's like it's good. Like I love my music video. I love my music video. Like ch- shout out to um, Chilla's Bliss. Like he's dope. He's dope. I, I love that. I absolutely love that music video. Mm-hmm. But just imagine you have like all creative like yeah mm-hmm. control over that. So I'm trying to dip into that avenue too. So if anybody. Want to be my mentor. Mm, yeah, if anybody want to help you girl out. Yeah. Yeah, but I definitely, I love film. I love movies when I grow up. What's I just love, I love YouTube. I love anything that captures, like, yeah. a moment. So I want to try to get into that, you know. What's yeah. some of your favorite movies? So 13 going on 30. Ooh, okay. that's a good one. Yeah, Love and Basketball, mm. Brown Sugar. Just, like, just all the classics. Yeah. Like, The Wood, like. I just I love movies. I know yeah. I like, and I love rewatching them. I'm sick. I'll watch Bro, it thirty I times. I am the worst rewatcher. No, you're not ever. I, no, I'm sick. She's like, I'll watch it worse, the day before, and worse. then I'll be like, oh, fuck it. Bro, I've done <laughs> this. Right. We just watch something basketball again today. Yeah. <laughs> My brother's like, why do you? And then do you're that? thinking the plot's gonna fucking change. Right? And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm sick. I'm like, yeah, but it's so good every time. Mm-hmm. Like it was so good the first time. Why would well, I want to see it again? Mm-hmm. I don't remember all the details, obviously. So let's just go back. 
Let's just really it. ingrain this into my memory. Literally. Can recite it. Crazy. What's yeah. your fave like media to consume other than like movies? Like <sighs> YouTube, like so like, I was like a TikTok hater. I you was know? too. I was like, I'm not downloading that. Yeah. Like people would send it to me, you know, I'll just hit that little link, just watch it on mm -hmm. Safari. I'm like, I'm not watching that. It got yep. me. It got me and it got me good. Yeah. Every day. Gripped. Trying to kind of trying to push put a limit on that because mm -hmm. we got to put a limit on that because you can't be on social media too much because then you get like kind of compare you kind of compare yourself like oh it's good it's a good tool but like you shouldn't be on it way too much it's toxic too yeah like, it is people make it and toxic. like the way we scroll through things like it'll be something traumatic then it'll be something funny then it'll be some it's just a lot like yeah. one time I was scrolling I was like what the fuck is going on in my brain right Bro, now I'd be doing that fucking like mad times a day especially yeah. on TikTok. And on Instagram, bro. Because no, we be so talking real. about it. Instagram like, reels? The reels will get really, me. Really not because the way that they fucking pop up on my feed, mm -hmm. like, I did not sign up for this. Like, and then you're showing me some Asian lady doing the craziest <laughs> hairstyle. I'm like, all right. Like, and then I'm like, <laughs> and then there's again, and, again, and, again, and then yeah. there's cats, and then there's music, and then there's food, and then and there's the, Japan. Like, yeah. what the fuck? It, it's just too much. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah. going on. It's but too much to consume. It's definitely a good tool, but like to a certain extent, you gotta like, like limit yourself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it's yeah. good that you're aware because a lot of people aren't like aware yeah, of how like toxic it can be if you spend too much time on it. Definitely, especially like, with like the comparing and mm -hmm. shit. It's so yeah. fucking bad. Yeah, you don't know what people are going through behind the scenes. Like they could post like some shit that they're like thriving in. Yeah, like you ever seen the meme where like. Like somebody's posting a picture and then behind them is just whole whole bunch of shit going yes. on. Yeah, like you yes. just never really know what people are going through, so you can't take social media for face value. That's like something that I feel like a lot of us should be like implementing. Like, yeah, you cannot take that shit for face value. Like, mm -hmm. I saw something yesterday. I won't be able to remember exactly what it was, but it was like a TikTok of people talking about how they think like our gen like social media like soon everybody's gonna kind of come to the realization like of how yeah. it's detrimental like and like start zoning it out or like really like not maybe not getting rid of it completely but like really zoning it out and trying to focus on like real and life shit. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be our generation because we're the ones who got fucked more than anybody else because we we had like half normal childhood and mm. then like got phones and shit and like yeah, iPhones like middle school bro, for and real. then everything like we were the first people on Instagram and yeah. Snapchat and all that so we our brains are literally five how about like MySpace like, really? though I never had a MySpace I didn't have a MySpace that was like a, a few years was before. Before. my mom was like you ain't getting that yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally but and I, I like begged for a Facebook I was like I please I mommy. secretly had a Facebook sorry mom <laughs> sorry like, but like secretly secret I was just so like scared I was like I have to like I'm just like I made my own website, bro, because I want because they wouldn't let me go on Facebook, and I called it Face Real. Oh, Face yeah. Real. Damn. It was so y'all go with you. You go with technology. Wow. Eh, I guess not. Like I'm jealous. TikTok, I'm not good with. Like that's like something I'm not good with. Like stuff like that. Like yeah, I feel like it's. But I don't know. It was just interesting to see because like how was I making a website at age ten? Because we're literally learning that then. So like we're that's we're crazy. the smartest people in this even if you think you're bad at yeah. like technology like we're still still gonna be still better ahead, than like millennials ahead, and yeah. gen x and uh, definitely boomers like yeah because it's ingrained in our brains like our brains are literally wired for that like also like how notifications are on our phone our brains are wired for that quick i yeah. know do you Thanks. guys ever hear notifications when you don't get yes, one like, i turn my on, i turn my notifications on like all social yeah, media i'd be like yeah same then you look and it's not there. Oh my god! I'm Especially the vibe, the when you have it on vibrate, yeah. like that shit just be like moving a certain way in my pocket. I'm like, yo, what was that? Yes, I got, a, I, got yes. A, I got a notification, and then you don't. Yeah, like, you don't. So yeah, we. Yeah, we, we should be the generation to cut it back. <laughs> Definitely. Especially, I feel like our generation is, like, the more so the one that is, like, the last, like, dying out that we could see, like, how shit was before. Like, we yeah, still have very, memories like, of the how it was before. And, mm -hmm. like, we are still, like, able to, like, be like, all right, this isn't really right. Like, like we had a whole childhood yeah. before all this shit. Like, I don't want my kids... To grow up like this, like an iPad kid, like a, what do you call the iPad no, kid, bro? Or like iPad you're not getting a phone or an iPad, iPad till you're in like eighth grade, like I had that to shit's be. Crazy. Like I, I don't care if everybody else does. Like 
I just don't, and I feel like a lot of people are That's gonna be like crazy. that because I feel like a lot of people agree with that because it's just so bad mm -hmm. like it will be horrible like for society melon, like Coco melon's crazy at the screen yeah and like that shit is what is that and i'd be what feeling so bad for parents because the only way, way that, they that can they'll get, stop yeah, yeah the only sometimes. way that they can like sit down and eat and like not like that, like your kid is about like, to all right you can watch the, coco melon fine yeah like your kid's so about sad, to grow up bro. with the craziest adhd bro exactly. like not being able to sit still without like something like grabbing their attention right in their mm -hmm. face that's like you crazy. guys feel like you have like a short attention span because of social media now yo i i mean i try to like really like i <laughs> go kind of crazy when i'm like on it and i'm like all right like let me just try to like sit in silence for like at least like a minute or something like type yeah. shit like at least like sometimes but other than that like i don't know i i don't have adhd so it's like yeah i have adhd yeah. and really? that's yeah and wow. that shit is just not helpful bro my yeah. attention span is so crazy yeah. like short mm -hmm. but i don't know what to do about that how about you me yeah do you feel like you have I'm a short just, attention span i really do but i'm definitely working on it yeah um like 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 i said that kind of limiting tiktok and honestly just tapping in with myself like meditation and stuff yeah. so like just being with yourself and just being present because i feel like sometimes people will be like well, how do you meditate how do you how do you do like it's just kind of just being here being right now yeah you don't need to be i guess thinking of nothing you could just no, like yeah that's not the thoughts, point that's yeah, why i used to pass you yeah like and people just like i know i feel like it's so crazy because before i started meditating it was like what does that even mean like what, are, what the fuck does that even mean like how do you just let nothing. yeah like dead ass that's what I thought and then too. once i started doing it like i would just like notice thoughts and then you notice how you kind of fixate on them mm -hmm. and then kind of like it you just get taken away from your body and then it's like okay Look breath and then you're just like focus on your breath again yeah. and then you're back like you're back just there like Very. that's what it's all about just have you felt there. that i feel like yeah we need a lot of meditation yeah need meditation needs to shit, become bro. like a regular practice like it sounds so corny but yeah. it's so true like it just puts everything into perspective and you can ju just go about your day without being like bombarded by a bunch of fucking mm -hmm. thoughts like like i try to do at least five minutes a day before i leave my house that's fine okay. and yeah do you like to do it like laying down sitting up I like to, I feel like it's most effective when I'm sitting up because I fall asleep. No, I was going to say, every time I try to do something like that, lying down, I lie down I immediately. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sleep. That's why, like, dead ass, like, a lot of people that, like, meditate and shit, they always say, like, the point is to do it while you're in a awakened, like, state. state. Yeah. When you're, like, mm -hmm. sitting up, mm -hmm. obviously you're, like, awake. Like, if you're yeah. laying down, it's easier, but you can also just fucking knock. So it's like... Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to lay down. I want to lay, lay down. Yeah. So I do, and sometimes like I'll go fully through it. But sometimes I wake up and be like, you know, when you wake up like, like, yeah, middle, like out of a nap. Like, what time is it? What year is it? Did I miss the bus? Like, <laughs> at <laughs> us. I'm like what year is it? Yeah, I'm so yeah, I did not I miss no bus. Definitely heavy on meditation. I love that for you. Period. Yeah. Yeah, helps my attention span. Yeah, the what we were talking about before. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. I just go through like little yeah. like tunnels. No, I feel. No, like I'd be forgetting yeah. what we'd be talking about in the first place. I want to know her fucking personality type now. Oh, I have a test for what? you. What a personality! Yeah. I love, I love tests. Oh my god, <laughs> I love tests too. Me too. So much. <laughs> like I don't like like <laughs> academic tests, but I love no, no, like no, yeah. Yeah. Like the getting to like quiz yourself. Yeah. Like what? Send you. Like what? Like um, Disney show are you? <laughs> no, that was not a real question. Oh, no, but, like, but, but, like, but you what? know, like which one? <laughs> which one? I, I'm definitely Raven. I feel like an I mean, I'm that. def. I give the facial expressions. Yeah. I feel like I'm like I feel like I'm low key psychic. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm low key psychic. Like that's I don't know. So, so like I definitely am Raven. Maybe next will come like Ant Farm because I thought that. Was <gasps> I funny. loved Ant Farm. Ant Farm. Which I am McLean. How the hell did you just remember that, bro? Wait, you don't remember Ant Farm? No, I do, but like that I have not heard. I'm a Disney girl. Bit. I'm a Disney girl, but like low key a forced Cartoon Network girl because my cousin used Cartoon to watch Network. it and he oh would just never God. change the channel. Mm -hmm. But Cartoon Network and I'm not really like I know Nickelodeon shows, but I usually watch Disney Channel. Like I don't like Carly. Like that was I was cool. gonna say I Carly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nick at Night used to be kind of fire. Just yeah. putting that the shit on. The George Lopez show? Yeah. I like, my God, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. I love that really? show though. Actually, yeah. see, I don't know, you're like Nick at Night. I'm fucking with Nick at Night. Like, yes. yeah, Nick at Night was crazy though. That was that was more for the culture for for mm. for real. Cartoon Network and Wizards of Waverly Place. I fuck with Wizards of Waverly Place because Let's like. Get into that. Why was that like oh, a shout out Selena? A ratchet. Shout out Selena. Why was that me. like a ratchet, like Hogwarts? I felt like. Why was that a ratchet, Harry Potter? <laughs> 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 that was That's like, why it was so good. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 I don't know. The like effects on that movie. I love Harry Party. I love Harry, Harry Party. Harry Party. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> Harry Party. Mm hmm. Harry Party. Is Harry Party. Party, party, <laughs> Harry Party. I never watched the. I mean, I never read the books though. The only like They're trilogy, so like, like series or like movie I watched is, um, and I've read is Hunger Games. Hunger Games was so good too. I read all those. I ain't read Hunger shit. Games. I try to watch. I mean, I read Harry Potter, but they're I so it. good. Really, I, I read like, all of them a lot. Bro, she's also like neurodivergent, so like she can read like <laughs> ten books in a day. How? Oh my yeah. god! Stop! Because Yo, I, I no, be like I have this teacher in like English. Like I had this teacher in. Um, she would have to. We'd have to read a book. Mm -hmm. Like we pick a book from the bookshelf, and we had to read it in a week. And my ass, I hated reading. Like I didn't really like. Reading well, I, I like reading. Let's not say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that. like in a week but is crazy. In a week, yeah, in a week, and she would test us, and she's read all the books on the bookshelf, so she would ask us specific questions <gasps> that you would have to actually read the book, and then I would go on. What's that thing? Them them pages. Spark notes. Spark, Spark notes. notes. Cliff notes. Mm -hmm. or Spark notes. Fuck. And I'd like read up on that, and I go and I pull up on her, and she'd be like, "So, what was Henry's first cousin's name?" And Sometimes I'll be lucky, and Spark Notes will tell me. But sometimes I just get an F. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just get an F. But yeah, um, yeah. You would have been. Yeah, you would have yeah, been. Yeah, like, oh, fuck it. Let me just read another book. Yeah. I used to read like, but like I'm my thing was one three days. Like <laughs> no, literally, I used to read books no. in it, like a day. Like I fucking like. Nancy Drew, do you like yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I read every single one of those books. But there's like I would read one, and then I would reread it again in the same day for some reason. You're she reads that's fucking fast. Like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes people don't believe like I read. They're like, did you ever read the Twilight series? Uh, I I didn't. I tried. All of them. I, I opened the first page. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just watched the whole Bible. Bible. Yeah. That bitch is a Bible, bro. No, that shit is for real. Too big. But I read Lord of the Rings, most of it. Crazy. Like the big ass books. <laughs> Me <laughs> crazy, crazy. And then like Divergent, like, you know, those books. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I liked those. Those were good. Nah. I wonder why. I literally mm -hmm. was like <laughs> neurodivergent. <laughs> sweating the day before, <laughs> like trying to get read all the books. Because one day I did it. One, one of the... Day I did it, I read a whole like a hundred and like ninety page book, sure. and I was sweating. Like when I was in my living room, and I was like, <laughs> <That's actually hilarious. laughs> because, because I was sweating. I was like, girl, like I was like dividing it by time. I was like, by one thirty, you need to read ninety pages. Yep. By this thing, and then I was I was falling behind. I was, I was like, girl, I was like, girl. But I finished it. But I never did that shit again. Yeah, yeah. I don't read like anymore though. I really want to. Like but read books again. Yeah. I do. I started. You, I was gonna, you, yeah, I started it. <laughs> oh, way, the way I just said but, and she said, yeah, I do. <laughs> that I do now. But, okay, okay, okay. You I already know now. the question. Go ahead. No, I'm not trying to be illiterate. You know, I do mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But like, I kind of read like self help books a Me lot. Me too. And yeah, I think I'm a like self help. What's your favorite right book that you read? Like, um, my genre. friend gave it to me. It's called The Power of Love. Mm. Um, and it's basically just like kind of finding like the light in every situation, if it, no matter if it's like good or bad, and just kind of understanding how we operate and how we just like operate off of love. And if we did all operate off of love most of the time, like a lot of shit would be smooth, you know? No bullshit. No bullshit. Very true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's not very really like I feel like maybe like one sided like oh everybody needs to love everybody like it just breaks it down for you mm -hmm. like why like why you go through like these like stems of emotions and it's okay but like let's ponder back to and see how we could look at it through um, the lens of like love and mm -hmm. like acceptance and patience and stuff like that and that's like one of my biggest things in life just trying to. Um, just trying to evolve and become the best person that I can be. And I feel like that involves, like, being understanding, patient. Yeah. Just being a loving person in general. That's, Definitely. like, the qualities of love, I feel like. 
I'm gonna have to read that because yeah, moment of silence. Moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> I have I a book that. in my. I have a book in my bag. Let me. I, I, I'm like after the interview. I I'm gonna put you guys on because I like that book too. That what okay. is it? What is it? I'm like remember guys Wik- Wikipedia, <laughs> bro. I, I, <laughs> everything I have in the information, but, but it, even the book I just told you, I'm not even sure <laughs> if that's the name of the book. But I just be like, remember vibes. Like anytime yeah, I go somewhere, vibes, 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 no, vibes. I vibes. But I think it's like empty out the negative. Mm. Sometimes I can be negative. Yeah, of course, everybody. Everybody, can be. yeah, everybody though. Yeah, mm-hmm. some people more than others, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but we're not we're not haters today. We're not haters today. We're not hating today. We're hating. Okay, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> what, what you want? <laughs> what we talking about? No, 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 no. But um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, um, what would you want your audience to take away from your art? What do I want my audience to take away from my art? Mm-hmm. I want them to take away being your authentic self. I want you to take away just being yourself unapologetically, mm-hmm. same thing. I want them to take away, like, I feel like my music, is it's not perfect. So not being perfect. I want them to take away, I don't know, just putting yourself out there. I want them to take away the journey of life. I feel like my music really is close to me because how I experience life, how I see life through mm-hmm. like my lens. Mm-hmm. And honestly, just being yourself, that's like one of my biggest things. Mm-hmm. Like being your authentic self, even if somebody don't fuck with it, somebody's bound to fuck with it. Even yeah. if somebody don't fuck with it, fuck them. Fuck them for real. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> you fuck with you. Exactly. exactly. Like that's all you have at the end of the day, you. So mm-hmm. got to be solid within yourself. And I feel like my music be solid within what I'm saying and yeah. my experience and what I go through. So that's what I want people that are listening to my music to feel and get to in life, your authentic self and just like evolving and just being my best person. Dope. Love that. That's and self, I feel like yeah. you like your music has is like embodies embodies a lot of emotion and yeah. like also like a lot of like um, imagination. Yeah, it does. I love storytelling. Yeah. I like like bringing you through like what I have in my head. Like, and I feel like that's one thing. I'm gonna give myself flowers on that. Like, I'm good at like taking whatever is in my head and then putting it on the track and then like bringing you through like this storyline that you yeah. feel like. Mm-hmm. Like I have this song initiate, and I feel like it's just, like we're just you're like watching a movie in your head. Like it's just. It's just I love songs like that. So yeah, no, I love same. like artists like that too. Like Tink, I feel like she does that mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of artists that do that, but like it's like I feel like it's like rap. You know, like how like rap you kind of go through a yeah. Even it all also songs, comes with it, like yeah. being like a, a writer. Mm-hmm. Like yes. when you're writing, how long have you been writing for actually? So, I like been writing poems like I always liked writing poems so like basically like in middle school I would write poems but like I feel like in 2017 that's when I started um writing songs fire writing songs because on the phone with my friend once and I was like I found this fire ass beat on YouTube she was like make a song call me back let me see what it sounds like <laughs> call me like, back hey. <laughs> shout out to Shanti. <laughs> I was like okay I was Love like that. so I made a song and I called her back and she was like whoa wait it sounds good. Hey. It's, yeah. Like, like so yeah. Don't Word. Love that. Um, would you have any advice to give to somebody wanting to start making music or do doing what they want to do but maybe haven't found their outlet yet? Um, number one thing I would say is be patient with yourself. Like, don't try to shit on yourself because like doing this and like chasing like your passion and stuff like it's a really big thing yeah and um don't think of yourself as like kind of like like i said be very like um patient with yourself because eventually you'll do it you'll get into it so just be very patient with yourself yeah don't shit on yourself because you're the best your mom you just don't know yet i love that yeah um oh jesus i keep I know, these chairs got to be get. Anyway. um, Anyway. Do you have anything else that you want? 
to talk about. Yeah, yeah. to talk about. Today. Yeah, you know, right now I'm contemplating two singles right now. <gasps> okay. I saw them the other day, right? Yes, I yeah. did. One of them is called Pink Orange. Ooh. That was that was my favorite. You, you have, like you have yeah. good names. I know. That's what a lot that, of people do. That's what I'm saying. No, not, <laughs> not because for a lot of time I was like the person that I feel like would I kind of be like like downplay myself or shit on myself. So I'd be like like I'm okay, but like no, like girl, yeah, you got that. Yeah, yeah, I be yeah. making. I feel like um song titles. I'd be like, what's that song about though? Like what mm-hmm. it like? I like I I feel like I'm really good at that. But yeah. like orange, pink orange is kind of like a vibe. I of, love like, that me one. finding peace of mind. Mm-hmm. And then mine is just like me being delusional per usual, you know. And yeah, so I'm kind of like on the fence with those two but you know mine won because i think it was the run that everybody was it's like yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah so i already chose that one but i don't know right. maybe i might maybe i might hit a surprise pink orange surprise, but bitch. surprise bitch <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um just still trying to push out the album i just dropped release got yes. bangers on there okay okay got bangers on there look out for that Check look that out. Yeah. Out. and then last but not least this is to all the creatives out there I love y'all. I'm proud of y'all. Keep on going. Mm-hmm. Like, you might not even know. You're almost there. You got it. You always got it. Like, just believe in yourself and keep on going. Amazing. I'm proud words of you. Somebody, you nobody are. told you I'm proud. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you. And nobody I'm proud told of you. You. <laughs> you proud of me? I'm proud I'm of so you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, so, I'm so proud, proud of you. you. Yeah. Yeah, but like, that's. How I want to end this off, like, I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of the creatives. I'm proud of everybody. You're chasing what you want to do. Like, you're yeah. dope. Shout out, Mass. We here, baby. Uh, shout out, Mass. Shout, shout out, out Mass. Shout out, Brockton. Yeah. Brockton's yeah. in the house. Shout for out sure. Brockton. For sure. Yeah. Shout out, Norwood, I guess. Shout out, Norwood, shout out Norwood, I guess. Shout out, D.O.D. I guess. Shout, shout out, D.O.D. <laughs> I'm y'all. I'm y'all back up. Shout yes. out. Give me something else. <laughs> shout out, Pink World. Shout out, Pink World. Yes. Ooh. Sorry we didn't give y'all an intro. We kind of just jumped I'm into this I'm done with the bitch. intros. No bullshit. I'm, I'm done. I'm hopping in this bitch, especially with this new fucking room. Shout out Mads Art X on Instagram. Ooh, she fucking killed this Look room. Look at the detail. And this looks printed. Bro, right? literally. What the hell? She did Crazy. her fucking Girl, you thing, don't. bro. Mad, Maddie, you slay, bro. You fucking slay. Ate that. Um, what else was I'm I going to say, bro? and shout out noir for being our first pink world guest in this new, new space room. so yeah so tag your socials Yay. at everything at n-o-i-r underscore o-f-f-i-c-i-a-l-l-y i'm i'm a little bad at spelling this so wikipedia like, yeah, wiki- yeah yeah it's, it's giving wikipedia it's but wiki- um noir officially everywhere um instagram um on TikTok, TikTok. If you want to know the real me, that's that's the real me. Yeah, TikTok's TikTok. the real me. But uh, everything, tree link in the in my bio. So anything you want to catch up more with me, you could catch me there on my Instagram. So yeah, catch her. Thank you so much, Noir, know, for joining you. us. Thank you. This is a fire ass podcast. We yes, filmed like an was. hour. No so way, bro. That, that that's when no you know. Way. That's, that's when, you, when know. you know. That's when you know. Literally. That's when you know. It's just a flow of conversation. I love that's these when podcasts you know. when they just go like this. I love it. Golden. Yeah. Also, this was episode twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. But yeah, we're 24. done with the intros. Like, yeah, don't we're forget it. it. We'll do outros, no intros. Yeah. yeah. And on that note, we'll so, catch you next week. Bye. Bro. Love you guys. Well, I found impossible until you came into my heart. Potential laid up in the dark Now I'm wishing on a shooting star